Oh, he's got a knife. He's got a knife. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Survivors, Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to the Infected. It is now day 10, 12, 16 in the morning, and apparently we have a some sort of a blood moon event. Uh, horde event active. Three of zero Vambies to kill. Whatever that means. I think Fred and Sally are coming to find Spot. And you know what we did to Spot last time, right? In the last episode? <laughs> we kind of killed him. It was the wolf. I think that was their pet. So we gotta get our story straight, okay? Let's just say that uh, that Spot went into the pond to grab a tuna and it never came out, okay? That's the story, I'm sticking to it. Let me do the talking. Where the heck are they? Fred, Sally, <laughs> our neighbors. Oh, oh, there's Sally, Sally! Sally, are you here for your dog? Spot, hey! <laughs> Sally, use the front door. Whoa, what is that? Ah, Fred, no, listen! I, I, your, your spot, he went into the to the pond. <laughs> it never came out. And who's this? Ma'am. Oh, 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 so angry. This must be uh, cousin, cousin Shirley. <laughs> Shirley, you jest. I have a broken leg. How do I fix that? And um, I got some kind of infection. I have a Medicaid advantage for that one. And we have a Band-Aid for that. Now, what is that? How do I fix a broken thing? Eh, uh, do I need to make a splint or something? Maybe a splint or a, a super duper medical kit. I don't know. But Fred snuck up on me. I never saw him coming. Anyway, um, I don't think they believed my story. I'm not sure they fell for it. Is that an arrow? Yeah. I can't see a dang thing. We're gonna have to make a torch. Oh, my leg's better now. I just have to put a bandage on. Okay. Alright, yeah, my bones heal super fast. I'm like Wolverine. We're good. Now, we should probably fix this um, damage over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. They banged on the on the walls. Gonna get a stone hammer to repair. No problem. We got a stone hammer right here. It is hammer time. We're gonna grab some planks and fix up the damage these Fulios did. And that one there. And two planks there. Foundation's looking good. Foundation's fine. Oh, oh, and this one here. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Who's this? Fred, I, what did I just tell you? Ow! You just threw something at me. Throwing stones now? Is that how it is? Holy cow. And an infected stone. He threw a knife or something at me and it was infected. Jeez, I'm going through band-aids like crazy. I'm going to have to hit the local CVS soon. And stock up. Wow. How many band-aids do we have? Six more medicated band-aids. And regular, uh, seven regular bandages. Um, I'm not sure how to make the medicated ones, but those are the only way. That's the only way to cure those infections. All right. Anyway, um, it's now 1.30. I think I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My health is down to 35. <laughs> wow. Fred got a good hit at it on me, didn't he? Anyway. All right. Um, yeah, let's go to bed real quick, and that should heal up. I'm thinking we got some biofuel from uh, from somebody there. In fact, let's go out here and check the extractor. I moved it over here into the woods. Is this the woods? Oh, we got iron fragments. It's out of it's out of gas. So yeah, we get iron over here. We get copper, coal, or stone over there. I haven't got any coal out of this. Frankly, I, th I think I'm gonna move it back. I don't know if we can get coal over there. I, I think we can, but it seems like. Well, I didn't get much coal here either, but at least we got one coal one time before. So let's let's put some fuel in there. Just one of these right now, because I might want to move it back again. And power it on. Okay. Yeah, back into bed. Hopefully this will heal me up. Oh, good night. Yeah, yeah, okay. Health is going back up to 100. Well, 9 o'clock's good. I don't want to sleep too late. <laughs> Okay, well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Quite the exciting night. And now we can get on with our life. Now that Sally and Fred are gone, at least for the time being. I was going to make a bow, a new bow. Oh, of course, I can't make a new one until I get rid of the old one. This one will be for backup. I'll just stick that over here. Um, I think I'm going to take the pickaxe today. And we'll make that bow. I think we need a cart so we can cart... Oh, my old stone pickaxe. So we can cart 
um, stuff around. And I'm thinking about going to a town today. Um, and then we can uh, we can loot it and throw stuff on the cart. I think. I think that's how it works. Three logs, ten planks, and ten nails. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do it. Ten planks, right? I don't think I can carry ten planks. Can I? It's the tuna bandit. Let's get him. Got him. Hey! Wow! <laughs> He's running with my with my arrow. Can I have that back. Thanks. And we'll sh oh, you little stinker. Dang it. You know what? Maybe I'll just poke him. He's probably going to run out of gas in a second anyway. Oh, yeah. I ran out of gas. Yep. <laughs> and then last but not least. All right. So now, how do we do it? Add lo We can add logs to it and move logs around. We can take the cart while holding logs. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you push the cart? Oh, that's weird. Why do you push the cart? <laughs> I'm used to the Valheim cart that you drag behind you. This is weird. It feels weird. I think um, I think you can pull it too, like when it's full or something. I thought I read that. So yeah, there was a new update, in fact, and a whole bunch of new stuff has been added, like Zomb uh, Vambi's throwing things at you, like uh, like poison knives or something. Whatever that guy was throwing at me. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff too, like a few new villages apparently. Oh, Fred's back. Fred, don't throw things at him. Oh, he had a knife. He had a knife, but he missed. I dodged it. <laughs> oh, Fred has a sheep now. Okay, well, they got a new sheep after losing spot. I wonder what the sheep's name is. Hi, sheepy. Come here. I don't bite much, but I do shoot. Yeah, I do shoot. Let's go follow the poor thing and uh, we'll wait till it runs out of gas, just like the tuna bandit. Oh, where'd he go? Took a left at Albuquerque. And he's out of gas. All right, we got to get moving because I want to get to one of these villages and I don't want to run out of daylight. So let me just get organized yet again here. Briefly interrupted by Fred and uh, his lamb. Here we go. Medicated bandages are actually fairly easy to craft. We need tallow, plant fiber... And mushrooms. And we have we have all of that. We have some mushrooms in here, don't we? Yes, twenty-two mushrooms, and they don't um, they don't spoil apparently. Great. All right. Well, we don't have to make any right now because we have plenty. Let's um let's get this cart rolling out of here. Oh, we wanted to make a chest for the cart, right? Let's make a chest. Just keep getting sidetracked by all these things. And here comes Fred looking for looking for a sheep. Little Bo Fred looking for a sheep. Hey, little, hey, little bow. Come here. Ooh. Oh, shoulder shot. That's not going to work. Oh, he's got a knife. He's got a knife. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they can dodge uh, melee attacks, but not arrow attacks, <laughs> fortunately. But uh, we can dodge his attacks, which is great. Man, infected knives. What a little cheater. All right. Um, what are we doing again? Yeah, I'm going to put all the stones away. Now, we want to put a chest on this thing. What does it take to make a chest? Storage box, eight planks. Okay. Oh, look at that. You just plop it right down on top. <laughs> That's great. Let's get eight planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then uh, I guess we can just throw all kinds of goodies on there. Once we get to town, and I think um, I want to make a rock, a rock storage bin as well. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. I guess we can take ours, right? Yeah, let's take ours. We already have one, so we'll just grab this one and the rocks actually go with it because I think we can put that on there too. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's going to storm. That's no fun. All right, let's go. Oops. Oh, no place for those sticks. Let's put them over here. And we're going to have to make a run through the rain, which ain't that terrible. There's a new town right here. It's past the cave. It's really close. So let's go there. Hopefully we can get the cart through the woods and over the mountains to Granny's house. All right, let's close the door, even though Fred, Sally, and Cousin Shirley don't even use doors. <laughs> now, do we have everything? I want to put these nails away. Fred dropped off. Whoop. Ah. And here comes the rain. Dang it. All right. Uh, 
Whoa, 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 what the heck happened there? Um. See, now we're pulling. We're pulling with stuff on there, and I can't see it. <laughs> I wish it was a third person. I can see behind me, because I'm kind of curious. I want to make sure that thing's working right. Oh, I can't bring up my bow either when I'm carrying the cart. Ah, that makes sense. Can I sprint? I can sprint with the cart. So we can really motor. Got to keep an eye on our stamina. Also, predatory animals now are more sensitive to you if you're not crouched. I'd like to get this this right here. Did I bring my pickaxe? I hope I... Oh, I sure did. Always thinking ahead. That's what I like about me. We need stones. We need stones to smelt. Oh, yeah, by the way, thank you for all the comments and the feedback. Getting a lot of great tips. Keep those coming. One of the tips was we should start getting into um, making clay bricks, which apparently is pretty easy to do. So we can make a big clay brick stove. And that will that'll smelt faster and more efficiently. So that's something we'd like to do. It's going to require a bunch of stones, obviously. What time is it? 138 already. Holy smokes. Okay. I don't want to get distracted with stones. Let's move out. Am I still heading in the right direction? No, I am not. How how the heck am I going in the wrong direction? Oh, wait, more stones. Oh boy, we're going downhill from here. Can I ride on the car? That'd be fun. Whoa, it's going. We're going. <laughs> we oh my gosh. Ow. Oh, it's not so fun after all. Uh oh. Where is it? <laughs> it's right there. It's still behind me. Oh, there's a tree in our stone box. Cool. We could use a new tree. How's my health? Holy cow, that really hurt. Alright, town's right up ahead. Oh, yeah, okay, I see a building. So now, I think there's two, two techs per town. There are t uh, 12 techs total. And six towns. So they're spread out evenly. And I think with the update... I think all of them got reset, too. And, and apparently the towns will respawn loot every 10 days, which is super useful. Oh, oh there's a fox! Hey! Hey! Oh, up here. Get down. Crouch. Are they not, like, super aggressive like they used to be? That's right. Keep walking, hero. Don't turn around. Wow. All right. Maybe it's not hungry. Because usually they come right at you, the foxes. <laughs> they look cute and cuddly, but they're very savage. All right, let's let's uh, let's pull up a little bit more. I'm going to release the cart and go inside and see what we got here. There's got to be some good loot here. Oh, coal! Thank goodness, because I only have one coal. What is this? Ah, is that a Ouija board? Or a pizza box? Clay. You know what we need is a... Uh, I want to make the helmet... Because it has a headlamp. But we need Kevlar. I think we need three more Kevlar for that. And here's the beauty of the cart right here. Just put everything on the cart. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Okay, we're going to leave the cart right there and then go over to this building. It looks really interesting. Like some kind of administration building or something. I think I see a bandage. And some biofuel. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, plastic. What's plastic for? And cloth. And stuff on the ground. More plastic. And tater sprouts. Just lying all over the place. Alright. That's good. But no tech. I think the tech is going to be inside the houses. Alright, let's go dump this stuff out. And head over to the house. Ooh, did I just see something in the window? No, that's just light shining through. Oh no! The sun was very brief. It's now getting dark again. Cloudy. <laughs> We're going to get rain. Yeah, the weather is just very wonky in this game. Hello? Anybody home? Sally? Fred? I think I see a tech right here. Nope. It's just a bottle of booze or something. Glue. What do we got here? Rope. Yep, here comes the rain. Dang it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kevlar. We needed that. Corn seeds. Got a bone. Two bones on the table here. Somebody gnawing on them. Cucumber seeds. I don't really need these seeds. Whoa! Well, well, well. I think Sally is home or Fred. Oh, it's Sally. Sally, 
Um, I'm just here for the sugar. I let you borrow it. You're supposed to bring it back. Can I shoot her through the door? No. Clearly not. Okay, there is a window. Uh, window there? There's glass. Yeah, window. Glass window. <laughs> oh, we're going to take the spoiled food. We need that to make the biofuel. Bone shards are actually really good because you can make bone arrows. And I think bone shards are pretty tough to make. Who is that? Is that Sally? Somebody's out there. They don't like us being here. All right, we're going up to the second floor. Got the attic up here. Yeah, that's Sally. She's just not happy that we're in her house. Yeah, we're, we're almost done, Sally. We're leaving now. Okay. No tech in Sally's house. She's not much of a reader, apparently. Over here. I'm not judging you, Sally. I know you got more important things to do. Wow! Oh, oh, Sally, easy does it, girl! <laughs> okay, got her. <laughs> she had, uh, is that copper? Oh, boy. And it's, uh, Shirley, cousin Shirley. <sighs> Shirley, you jest. Oh, can I have that arrow back, please? Thank you. Let's close the door. Don't want to let the flies out. And let's go drop this stuff off in the cart. So far, Fred hasn't shown up. I don't know where he is. He might pop out of the woodwork at any given time. This is a big one. Big old house. Still don't see Fred around. Oh. Oh. Looks like Fred got a new sheep. How nice. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Watermelon seeds. Okay. Let's go right around the world and be systematical about this. Got some clay. Uh, we'll do the second floor after we do the first floor. Old pizza box. All right, how about some tech here? We are striking out. What's going on here? All right, let's go upstairs. We're supposed to find two tech in every town. So I wonder how many houses there are in this town. Some tallow. One dirty bed. Kevlar, yes! One more Kevlar, we can make the helmet. Fishy oil? Hmm. That's fishy. Alright. That's everything on the second floor. Still no tech. Alright, let's go back out to the porch. And we'll go to that house right there. Let's bring the cart over. I might bang on some of these rocks, too, before we leave. We have plenty of space in the crate. Still no sign of Fred. I don't know where the heck he is. Yeah, there's a lot of houses here, so it's not surprising I haven't found the tech yet. I see somebody crawling around over there. All right, well, let's go in the house and get her done. Ooh, medical kit's nice. That is super nice. We're at 66 right now. We should probably just use that. 100 health. Yeah, we'll hold off for a minute. Dry brick. Don't need the rope. More bones on the desks. What is going on with these people? I wonder if they're all vambies. <laughs> Doing some strange rituals with bones. Let's check the second floor for some tech. Oh, I think we got a tech here. Ugh. Get up and over. Loom! Oh, we need that. That's super important so we can make clothing and things. On the loom. Yeah, that's a good one. So we now have solar panel tech with loom tech, stove tech, and chemistry table tech. All right, so there's one more tech in this village. But I'd like to get at least one more Kevlar, too, if we can find one. That would be fantastic. All right, let's get to the next house. What time is it? 7.13. Okay, we got a boogie. It's going to be dark in a couple hours. In-game hours. For us, it's just mere minutes. I see a cuke in the garden here. And I think I see Fred. Is that Fred? Oh, that's Fred. Fred throws knives. So we're going to sneak. We're going to shoot him from cover. And oh, I missed. Oh, dang it. And here he comes. Oh, good. Got him. All right. Hate to waste those arrows, but got to get the jump on that guy. He's a tricksy one. I forgot to empty my pockets, too. Look at all the goodies here. All right, well, we'll carry the first aid kit. And let's grab that cuke. 
how are we doing for vitals right now We're looking pretty good i actually lowered the um the uh the stat decay you can do that now there's a uh there's a new there are new sliders for that in the settings so i dropped it to slow i just want to try it out i, I might bring it back to normal because it does seem like really really slow oh fred's back or maybe that's cousin shirley's hubby cousin eddie Oh, oh, he sounds mad. We're just here for the tech, Cousin Eddie. Eat the can. Oh, I guess you don't like to read in the bathroom. Hey, I got, we gotta go to the bathroom. Give me some privacy. I don't think I can hit him. Through here, he must try. Oh, <laughs> yes, I can. Right the <laughs> Get out of here, Cousin Eddie. All right, I'm not seeing any tech yet. What time is it? 8.19. We got a boogie. Let's get upstairs real quick. Check it out. Kevlar. Yes! That's fantastic. We can make the headlamp when we get back now. Iron fragments, some beautiful carpet ore. These people just have the strangest things in their houses. No tech. Cloth. Oh boy. Oh boy, they're all out. Just saw the crawler out there, too. All right, I don't see any tech here, so let's get to the next house. Oh, no. I'm not even sure which way to go. <laughs> All right, we got one. Whoa. Oh, it's, hey, whoa, it's Sally. Sally. Easy does it. Easy does it, girl. <sighs> Whew. We're leaving. We're leaving. We are leaving. Leave us be. There's the cart. Let's do the last house right over here. Well, it's not the last house, but let's do one more house before it gets dark. And then we got a boogie home. I don't want to make this run in the dark. Close it. Spoiled food. Let's just go right to the... Uh... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Solar panel. Oh, we already got solar panel. Dang it. Well, that's a waste. So apparently we do get duplicates. Oil can, and I'm getting a little greedy here. We should probably go right now. <laughs> Don't need plant fiber. All right, oh boy. All right, let's go. Oop, that's the bathroom. How do I get out of here? Oh, oh, it's Sally. Or Shirley. Oh no. She got infected. She infected me. Dang it. I can say something really inappropriate right now. But I won't. Let's use a medicated bandage. All right. Okay, now let's go. <laughs> uh, this is apparently the back door. <laughs> Where's the cart? There it is. All right, let's um, let's go. How's my health? I think we can make it. 65. And this way. We got both techs from this town, so the rest is just normal loot. But I think um, I think we've overstayed our welcome. Ugh. We get over? Oh, we got over. Oh, something's chasing me. What is that? That could be a wolf. I, it's a wolf. We're outrunning the wolf right now. I'm not even sure if we're going in the right direction. <laughs> we're gonna run out of stamina. <laughs> hey, wolf, go be a lamb. <laughs> oh, I think he might. No, he's still chasing us. Um, I gotta check the map. Yeah, we're getting we're getting close to home. I might be able to get into the house before he catches us. And it seems like he's having trouble. Ah, oh, he bit me. He did bite. Get off me. Ow. Sounds like a puppy. Spot. Leave me alone, Spot. Oh, you bad dog. Bad dog. Shoot you. Fred and Sally sent Spot after me. Um, all right. I think we're getting pretty close. Are we bleeding? No, but I am going to... I'm just going to do that first aid kit. Yeah. I think we needed that. Alright, I think we're close now. There's the tuna pond. Man, we were so close. Not that it matters. We would have had to fight the dang wolf anyway. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to park out front and get organized because we have a lot of stuff to unload. First, let's check this thing out. What do we got here? Oh, look at it go. It is cranking. I like it. We're getting copper here, though. We do get iron in the woods. I might wait for this oil to run out. And I move it back over into the woods. But that's, that's great. I love that thing. 
Okay, so yeah, give me a minute here to get organized. I'm gonna take all the Kevlar, in fact. Let's make that helmet right now. The one with the headlamp. Uh, right here. Six Kevlar, three cloth, and one copper ingot. Let's do it. One copper ingot. Yeah, the beauty of this thing is we can make it right here on the workbench. Oh, look at that. Yes, now we have light. And how do you turn it on? L? T? T. T for flashlight, of course. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. It's so great to be able to see in the dark. And now I'm going to unload. So give me a minute. We'll be right back. Hang tight. Don't go away. All right. The cart is now unloaded, at least the chest on the cart. Let's put the rock box back in the house where it belongs. <laughs> Does it? I guess. <laughs> Depends on who you ask, I suppose. Um, let's finish up this iron ingot chest, shelf, thingamabob. Shelf is the word I'm looking for. And then we can put our iron ingots on it, right? Because we have lots and lots of iron ingots. Let's get rid of that plank. And we'll move all of our iron ingots over to the shelf. Now, it only holds iron ingots. Apparently, it does not allow copper or cobalt or anything else on there. So we're going to have to make separate shells for everything, which is kind of strange, but that's how it works, my friends. So that's what we're going to have to deal with. All right. I think we're going to call it quits right here for now. And in the next episode, we are going to go out and kill some crocodiles right here at the swamp, which is much closer than it used to be. It's just a hop, skip, and jump away, right? I mean, it used to be way up here, and it would take several days to go up there and do your hunting. And we want to hunt crocodiles to make this backpack right here, which is a much larger backpack, but it requires eight crocodile skins. So we will do that next time. Oh, our glass is up. Glass is up. Put it in. Oh, what the? Oh, I need sticks. All right, let's go get 10 sticks. Got plenty of those. And we're going to have a nice new window. Yeah, new, but relatively dirty. <laughs> but it serves its purpose, right? So let's close the door and let's get to bed. And man, look at all that energy. I still have over half my energy left because I, I lowered the stat depletion to slow from normal. I'm going to have to put that back up to normal, I think. It just goes down too dang slow. Who's that? Hey, Fred, don't you be taking tunas from my tuna pond now. I missed. I got to gotta lead him a little bit. Right there. There we go. <laughs> Let's go see what Fred had. Oh, my wooden stairs are busted. Oh, my crazy neighbors. They're always breaking stuff. There we go. Good as new. All right, now I can go to bed. So we'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Good night.